Aaron Callahan has resigned as the manager of Athlone Town after just five months in charge at the Airtricity League. Wednesday, May 2, 2018 Having stopped the Candy Stripes get a seventh successive league win, the test in Talek now on Monday night for the Sunday, April 29, 2018 The Hoops made it to their sixth successive semi-final of the AO Sports Cup last season when they defeated Longford. Tuesday, April 24, 2018 A tooth and nail performance saw Cork City FC come from behind to return to the top of the Premier Division table with a 2-1 win over Limeca Turner's Cross on Saturday afternoon. An opener from Danny Morrissey saw City concede their first goal at the Cross since September 2017, but headers from Graham Cummins and Josh O'Hanlon salvaged the three points as the Rebel Army went three points clear. In what was in tight opening, Limerick sat back with the hosts in controlling the play. Both sides cancelled each other out in what was a game of inches through, as City controlled midfield through the experienced Jimmy Keohane, Connor McCormick and Gary Buckley. After a patient opening, City's procession was almost rewarded as Carl Shepard linked up with Buckley, but the midfielder's cross hit into no man's land out of the reach of Cummins. City were awarded a penalty on the 10-minute mark when Killian Cantwell brought down a charging Stephen Beattie inside the area. Up stepped Shepard, but his low shot fell straight into the hands of Brendan Clark to keep it 0-0. Spurned, City won back procession instantaneously with Colm Horgan crossing it deep into the area for Cummins, whose glancing header grazed the crossbar. Feeling the pressure, Limerick reorganized and flooded the midfield, breaking City's control. Limerick's first effort of the game came from Connor Clifford who fired hard into the hands of Mick Nulty in goal after finding space on the right side. Inspired by the opening, Limerick used the avenue for success as Billy Dennehy in a similar position to Clifford crossed it into Morrissey, who acrobatically shot to make it 1-0. City gathered and, with the tooth-and-nail attitude that saw them concede once in eight months at the cross, struck level within two minutes, Horgan crossing for Cummins to flick past Clark. City could have taken the lead from the restart as a low cross from Barry McNamee found Gary Buckley at the far post but an intervening Billy Dennehy dived into Buckley's shot sending the ball out for a throw-in. Dennehy switched to attack and slotted through Bennett and McLaughlin to find Mark O'Sullivan, who dogged his way through the city line to fire low past McNulty in inches wide of the target. With Limerick growing, City freshened their line with the addition of Josh O'Hanlon for Barry McNamee, switching into a 4-4-2. It was a change that proved vital, as within seconds of his introduction No Hanlon made it 2-1, when the striker met the end of a Kieran Sadlier cross to fumble it into net at send the shed end into euphoria. Limerick, stunned and feeling the pressure, pushed forward and switched to three at the back to pile the midfield but, despite having all the play, chances were a minimal. Against a side famed for their defensive prowess, City eased the pressure and switched to a counters and Shepard broke with Kia Haynes, but his cross fell straight back into the Limerick line. O'Hanlon almost grabbed his second, as he headed in space once again, but the pouncing Billy Dennehy clambered on the line to clear for a Limerick counter. The Shannon sitters charged forward thanks to the dogged physique of Marco Sullivan, but a smothered City's defense sent the ball out for a goal kick. End to end, both sides took what they could get with a loose ball by Cantwell picked off by Kieran Sadlier, who gathered himself and delayed his run, but the winger's shot bounced off the crossbar for a goal kick. Limerick tried to gather, with Billy Dennehy and Clifford sending balls into the area for O'Sullivan, but an organized city line held tight to prevent Limerick equalizing. In the end, the resilience of the champions showed through with City grinding out a 2-1 win to go three points clear at the top of the table. Cork City, Mark McNulty, Stephen Beatty, Alan Bennett, Sean McLaughlin, Colm Horgan, Gary Buckley, Jimmy Keohane, Connor McCormick, Stephen Beatty, Kieran Sadlier 55, Carl Shepard, Barry McNamee, Josh O'Hanlon 69, Graham Cummins, Danny Kane 82. Subs not used, Peter Cherry, GK, Aaron Barry, Michael Howard, Connor McCarthy. Booked, Colm Horgan 31, Carl Shepard 74. Limerick, Brendan Clark, Killian Cantwell, Darren Dennehy, Tony Whitehead, Kean Coleman, Shane Duggan, Connor Clifford, Billy Dennehy, Owen Weiran, William Fitzgerald, Carlo Sullivan 20, Danny Morrissey, Marco Sullivan 67. Subs not used, Tommy Holland, Shane Tracy, Colm Walsh O'Loughlin. Book, Shane Duggan 2, Killian Cantwell 9. Referee, Tomas Connolly. Attendance, 3516, official. Extra Time.ie Player of the Match Graham Cummins, Cork City